It's a pleasure to have you here, uh, Mr. Nishihata. How shall I may address you? Oh, just call me Carl. Oh, well, fantastic, and welcome to the Open and Royal Liverpool. Thank you. I'm in Liverpool. Thank you. How is the Open for you so far? Because uh, we, NTT Data, started a sponsorship almost 10 years back, mm -hmm. and every year we buy technologies improving. So we now are providing this data, NTT Data War. Every year, new technology comes in, and it's fascinating that all the members are, uh, around the world. So I'm very uh, proud of that uh, the NT Data World, and I'm I'm really looking forward to look watching the new Data World. And, see, and over to you, Claire. Um, your vice president here in UK and Ireland. Uh, how much effort goes behind uh, the open and bringing the data experience? Huge effort across the globe, honestly, not just in the UK, through our teams across EMEA, into Japan, of course. I mean, I just saw the data wall today for the first time. It's incredible. Mm. The size and scale of it is just immense. This is leading sports technology, and it really is incredible. So we're hugely proud and mm. grateful to all the people at NTT who've worked on this and making it an absolute success that it is. And uh, speaking of colleagues all over the world, I mean, this is a global company, and I've heard there is this entity data group. Please tell me more about it. Yeah, we've got the entity data group uh, consists of two groups. One is entity data Japan, and the, the other one is the entity data Inc. And the last October, the entity Limited, based in headquarters in London, joined entity data Inc. So as a whole entity data group, uh, we have a 190,000 members all over the world. And we are providing the services more than 50 countries and regions. And Claire, uh, with employees all over the world, how important uh, is culture within the company? Absolutely essential. Honestly, we are a global organization and the combination of nationalities and mm. people from different countries makes us a kind of naturally diverse company, if you like. But the road really to true inclusion is about in bringing everyone along, making sure that everyone's included and every voice is heard. Mm. I think if we look back 10 years ago, diversity and inclusion was something additional, something mm. bolted on that HR used to look after. Now it's not the case, and rightly so, it's completely essential to business success. We see time and again that the companies that are the most successful, the most innovative, are those that are leading on diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's exactly where we yeah. want to be. Yeah, I agree. Because uh, innovation comes from the DEI, right? Yeah. If there are uh, no difference, no uh, diversity, you cannot have like, innovation. So that, in that sense, DEI is essential to have the businesses for future. I think you're right, it's that evolution again is the word of, of diversity and of inclusion. It's diversity of thought, diversity mm -hmm. of ideas, and ensuring that everyone's included to bring those ideas forward. That's where we find an yeah. innovative workforce, mm -hmm. and that's how we really engage with new clients is through innovation. Mm. So absolutely crucial. Great. I completely agree how important it is that um, all the different cultures are able to bring new things together and how everybody feeds from each other. And then within women, what is um, entity data? How does this affect women in the company? I mean, like lots of IT services companies, we're still focusing on gender representation. Yeah. Globally, we're mm. increasing year on year the yes. women in leadership yep. and mm. women across the organization. We're not where we want to be in every country, I think not. it's fair to say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we continue to focus not only on women in NTT, but on all of our other inclusion communities as well. Yeah. Yeah. I am a, I mean, I'm a woman, I'm a professional golfer, and I know how important uh, sponsorship is in the women's golf mm. global in, in general. Uh, how I've heard that you're championing the AIG Women's Open. Yeah, we got uh, last year we started mm -hmm. the sponsorship. Now, before that, we'd like to have a women's sports sponsorship, but just last year we started. We need to have more uh, women's sports uh, mm -hmm. sponsorship because we say the DEI, or I say 3G, the generation, geography, the, mm -hmm. I mean uh, gender. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we, don't, we don't have no mm -hmm. 
uh, uh, boundary for those three DGs because this is NTT data. So definitely we need a, a, a women's sports and also the young generation, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. we attract the all the older generation. So that's why we started the AIG uh, Women's Open. And I think it also speaks to our responsibility externally as well as internally for us to use our brand yep. as a platform to have those conversations about mm. advancing and amplifying women's sport. You're right, we're sponsoring the, the Men's Open and it's fantastic to be sponsoring the AIG Women's Open. We just yep. ran a series of interviews with champions in conversation with um, professional golfers, female professional golfers, and women in business. Mm. I completely love that series. You've got the two successful um, women speaking to each other about the successes and the challenges in their careers. It's a really great series of conversations. Well, I'm looking forward to the rest of the week here at Royal Liverpool. Thank you very much for joining us today and enjoy the golf. Thank you. Thank you very and much. Thank you. Obviously, we'll be stopping by the data wall. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.